Today I'm going to talk about Shah Rukh Khan. Uh, there was a time when I was growing up, I used to admire and adore him. And today I'm going to make a very serious allegation against him that he has been lying to our country, lying to his fans, lying to his followers and uh, basically befooling a nation who has given him so much of love and adoration just to save or just to protect an ideology which he believes in. Now normally we consider actors as performers who take some money, perform some acts, act in some movies and that's it. We don't consider them social activists or somebody who is related with any mass movement or social activity. It hurts me that I actually work for the masses. I work for communicating to the masses. So my whole intention is people should hear me. So what he is saying is that his intention is that people should hear to him, listen to him and have a proper dialogue with him. I, I think the one main message of the film is if you and I have a problem on ideological or religious basis, before you pick on me or I pick on you, let me explain my religion to you. And you might, I think, 99% of the time say, oh, that's what that means. Oh, okay. I have no issue. Or, I understand yours. So, so people it's our duty should communicate. Of, yes, it is the duty of every person, if your religion or region is being questioned, explain it. Don't be defensive and say, no, we are good. No, please explain it. So I think it's the duty of me as a Muslim, uh, though I've I'm, I'm not done the film for that, but as a person, yes, if you ask me something about Islam, as much as I know, I'd like to tell you how tolerant and beautiful that religion is. Now, to buttress his claim, he has given another interview in which he is quoting a few verses from the Islamic book called Quran. And let us hear him out once again. Uh, there is a surah called Surah Maida, which is a verse from Quran, which very clearly states that if you heal one uh, man, you heal the whole mankind. This is what God says. And if you hurt one man, you hurt the whole mankind. So what he's trying to say is that Islam is a beautiful and tolerant religion. And to buttress his claim, he is quoting not few verses as he said, he is quoting just one verse. But there is somebody else who has a different view as compared to Shah Rukh Khan. His name is Walid Shabat. He used to be a terrorist. He used for a he used to work for a terrorist organization in Palestine and Israel area in the Middle East. And what he has to say about the same verse, now pay attention to this. And here's a dilemma. The peaceful verse, even the peaceful verse that is quoted even by Bush, the verse goes as follows. Whoever kills a life without just cause or for doing mischief in the land, then as, he's, as he killed the entire earth. You'll find the same verse in the Judeo-Biblical tradition. But most Westerners never skip after that verse, which makes very clear. But as those who do mischief in the land, then cut their hands and their feet from opposite sides and crucify them, literally. And that's what you see what happened in Afghanistan. That's what you see what happened in Sudan. Amount, a huge amount of crucifixions and killings and beheadings and amputations and public assassinations. They really want to revive Islam as it used to be. This is why they call it Islamic fundamentalism. So he is making two very serious allegations on the spokespersons of Islamism like Shah Rukh Khan in this particular video. He is saying that they quote the verse partially and they don't talk about the next verse. They do not tell the public about the conditions or caveats which are built into this verse. Now on one side we have Shah Rukh Khan. On the other side we have Walid Shobat, an ex-terrorist. Whom should we trust? I think we should not trust any one of them. Since we are educated enough, we can go and check out for ourselves. So that is what exactly I'm going to do. I'm going to check out this verse of chapter number 5, which Shah Rukh Khan was calling Surah Maida. And the verse number is 32. If anyone killed a person, not in retaliation of murder or to spread mischief in the land. So there are two caveats for this, which Shah Rukh Khan conveniently omitted. I'm reading this once again. If anyone killed a person, not in retaliation of murder, or to spread mischief in the land, it would be as if he killed all mankind. And if anyone saved a life, it would be as if he saved the life of all mankind. That means Walid Shobet was right that these people deliberately misquote the verse or partially quote the verse. 
to present a benign form or benign face of their ideology. Then Walid has said something else also that we should skip to the next verse and read the true nature of these verses. Let us look at verse number 33 of chapter number 5. The recompense of those who wage war against Allah and his messenger and do mischief in the land is only that they shall be killed or crucified or their hands and their feet be cut off on the opposite sides. So that is what Walid Shabbat is talking about and that is what Shah Rukh Khan is hiding from us. What should be done if somebody is making mischief in the land or is against the Prophet then he should be crucified or killed or his hands and feet should be cut from the opposite sides. Now if you remember a few years ago there was a professor in Kerala by the name T. Joseph if I remember correctly. He had put in a question into a question paper which some Islamists felt that it was detriment to the reputation of the Arabian prophet called Muhammad bin Abdullah. What did they do? They stopped that professor in the middle of the road and chopped off his hand. That is Sharia in action for us. And that is the face which Shah Rukh Khan is deliberately trying to hide. That is what his book is talking about. Now notice here, it is talking about Allah and his messenger. It is not talking about Jesus Christ. It is not talking about Ram, Krishna, any other God. It is only for Allah. Now many people think that it is one and the same thing, but it is not. It is La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. There is no one to be worshipped except Allah. La ilaha. No other to be worshipped illallah except Allah. So Allah is different from all other gods. That is what it means. It is his religion and we should not spread hatred. I agree with that. But we are talking of a person who has earned his name, fame from this country, from billions of people like me and we expect him to be honest with us. And if he is not honest with us, that means he is doing something wrong. And that is what I protest against. And then there is a larger issue over here. In his movie, My Name is Khan, he has quoted the same verse from Surah Maida, chapter number 5, verse number 32. And he has given again that partial statement. Now think over this. Quran is a pretty hefty book. It has 114 chapters, 6,236 verses. If we exclude those three satanic verses which uh, Salman Rushdie has made very famous. So even if we exclude those three verses, there are 6,236 verses. Yet, when they have to present this benign face of, of Islam, why are they picking on this single verse? Are there no other peaceful verses present in this book? That's it for today. Thank you very much. Namaste.